are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, we're going to have to talk about soccer. Namely, women's soccer. Because in Australia, there's this soccer team that may actually be the wokest soccer team or any sports team for that matter in the world. This team features not one, not two, not three, not four. I'm starting to sound like LeBron here when he went to Miami. This team features five transgenders. Yes. Males identifying as females. And guess what? They are competing against the women. Guess who won? Let me save you the time. Of course, this team with five males won. And in one game, they absolutely demolish the competition. This is not fair. This is absolutely not fair, man. This is getting way, way, way out of hand, guys. Second video of the day. And I'm talking about this whole trans thing in sports. Yes, this is a real thing. This is on the rise, man. Ten years ago, there would be like zero videos on this. But I believe there has been an effort by the Wotes out there to make this happen. And it's happening now, guys. And some parents have actually pulled their daughters from competition because they don't want their daughters to get hurt playing against five males. Yeah, this is really, really crazy, guys. It's extremely crazy. This was actually in Sydney, Australia. And boy, this team has a website. It is pretty woke. So let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday. Just starts at $5 per month. So here we go on our kick here, guys. Girls soccer team featuring five trans players dominates tournament. Enraged concern parents. Where well, the parents should be enraged. They should be concerned. Because really, this was not a competition. It was a wipeout. When you have five males on the team and the other teams only have uh, females, guess what? Guess who's going to win? It's going to be the team with five males. Says here, a girls soccer team in Sydney, Australia with five transgender players, man, biological males cruise to a preseason tournament win and a one thousand dollar prize over the weekend. They stole that money. Because they cheated. Club officials and parents of girls having to compete against a team filled with males are rightfully concerned. According to Australia's Daily Telegraph, the team with the trans players on the roster called Flying Bats FC won every game during the four week competitions. The squad won the grand final for nothing, but also secure. Get this. A 10 nothing win earlier in the tournament with one trans player scoring six goals on their own. Yeah, one player scored six goals. The women, they really did not have a, uh, a chance. The team's official website displays his bat logo with the colors of the LGBTQ plus flag underneath. Yeah. So. This is their website right here. Look at this right here. Right here says football for all. And they truly do mean all as in men. Now, I don't know if you guys can actually see this here, but in the upper uh, left hand corner here, the flying bats, they have um, the woke uh, pride progressive flag. Uh, I don't think I can actually make this bigger here. No, I know I can't make it bigger. Just takes me back to the home page right there. Yeah. And they're all about the alphabet mafia stuff. Says here, the flying bats is the biggest LGBTQIA plus women's and non-binary football club in the world. My goodness. Yeah, they are super woke over here, man. 
And look, they're featuring um rainbow stuff. Uh clearly right here on um the left side here. This player right here to me looks clearly to be a male. I mean, I can kind of see the knees and the um the thigh muscles right there. Yeah, that's definitely not a female. I mean, they got woke policies here too. But they got a member protection policy. Right here, it says um, the Flying Bats Football Club is strongly committed to a zero tolerance policy against any form of homophobia, biphobia, transphobia, racism, sexism, ageism, ableism. All that stuff, man, this is supposed to be about soccer. And their website is about, you know, woke stuff like that. They even got a gender and sex diversity policy. And of course, right here, you got the pride progressive flag right there as well. And yeah, this is uh, pretty wild right here, man. Uh, let's see here. It says the Flying Bats is committed to creating and maintaining a safe, fair and inclusive sporting environment for everybody, no matter your gender identity or expression. Yeah. This whole entire site is all about that. I mean, that's pretty uh, crazy right there. Look here. It says some parents have pulled their daughters from games over safety concerns of having to play against males while also explaining that players did not participate having to take the field against trans athletes in a tournament. Club officials in the uh, Northwest Sydney League believe Flying Bats FC which is supported by Pride Football Australia, my goodness, is part of the biggest LGBTQIA plus women's and non-binary football club in the world. Officials also believe the team should play in mitts competitions on Saturdays, which includes men. But of course, they're not going to do that. Why in the world would they actually play against men when they're probably lose? They're going to play against the women where they know they have a much, much better shot to win. And in this case, they win every game. Uh, quote, there's no transparency from a uh, football NSW. The girls don't know if they're going to be playing biological males or not. One senior club official said some of the parents were so concerned. Uh, they would not let their daughters play. It was so disheartening for them to see the huge difference in ability. They're killing it. Binary Australia spokeswoman Kira Lee Smith said that some girls, some girls teams were warned not to complain about having to compete against biological males at the risk of having to forfeit matches, being fine or referred to anti-discrimination in SW men. So if you're a female and you complain about this. They want you to shut up. Shut up or forfeit. This is what it's come to, guys. This is pretty wild right here. If the madness doesn't stop, it's going to continue. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.